NMR is essentially the same thing as an MRI machine. I mean, it's the same concept. You're, you're uh -huh. applying a magnetic field. So there's a static magnetic field that polarizes hydrogens in one plane. So then you pulse a different magnetic field and it flips it. It flips the hydrogen over and you measure that. And you, you're doing this at the frequency of milliseconds. The, the logging tools that you put down the hole are milliseconds. In the lab, you're much more uh, high frequency than that, but there's limitations. Yeah, sure. So you're flipping these hydrogens back and forth, and eventually they'll hit the poor wall and they spin out. So you can't polarize them anymore. You can't flip them. And so you're actually watching the... Because, they're, because they've got the kinetic energy kind yeah. of thing. So they hit the wall and they, and they literally spin out. <laughs> so you're, what you're actually watching is a decay in how many hydrogen molecules are spinning. And you can... Okay. 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 That is related to pore size. Right? So the longer it takes to do that means you're farther away from a poor wall. Because you're hitting okay. poor wall, that's just what caused them to stop spinning. Sure. So sure. you're essentially looking at a time distribution of how many hydrogens are. There's a whole inversion process behind this to get to what you actually want to get to. But that, it's a really powerful thing. But functionally, it's the same thing as an MRI machine. 